Right. If you can hear the PlayStation, I don't care. Um, I've moved... I've, I've kept the distance between me and my phone a little bit because I've noticed in a lot of my videos and a lot of my recordings, especially on WhatsApp and stuff, things are really distorted. So, I'm going to have a little rant here. This is a rant, okay? This is a lecture. You're going to listen to me, yeah? You're going to listen to this whether you like it or not, okay? This is only a video. I can't force you to do anything. But hear me out, right? So, this COVID situation, okay? From the start, it was a bit of a joke because I'm thinking, really, Wuhan, I think you should just keep a bit of better hygiene, blah, blah, blah. Um, whoever left Wuhan when before they put them into a lockdown should have stayed in Wuhan and this probably would never have happened. And China as a whole, ah, mm, I'm politically incorrect, but are a bit of a joke, okay? Um, big China, blah, blah, blah. Um... So, my thoughts on Boris Johnson lifting the rules. Hear me out. So, good. Good, as in the fact that people should be allowed to live a normal life. Good in the fact that, well, the Omicron variant isn't as serious as what the other ones were. Uh, good in the fact that... People, you can't expect a dog or a cat or a horse or a hamster to be locked in the same place for seven days or even ten days or even fourteen days or two days or one month in one place and to be okay or maybe even to be alive by the time they get back out. Neither can you expect a human to do that. So that logic is just ridiculous anyway. Um, lockdown should never been a thing. Um, people should have died because it's mother nature. Okay. Um, so suicide. That's not normal. That shouldn't be a thing. We should have been on that a long, long time ago. But the government are corrupt. But anyway, um, that's not normal. What is normal are viruses, bacteria, fungi, people, animals, horses, dogs, um, houses. Well, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you know, kind of humans were a sort of thing to uh, houses. But yeah, let's just say houses are normal. Cars, mm, yeah, they're kind of normal. This new electric crap ain't. <laughs> sure about that. Um, vaccines. Yeah, I guess they're normal. Um, and asteroids are normal. So, let's say, oh, an asteroid's gonna hit, uh, hit Earth in 2023. There's an asteroid heading our way, directly our way. An asteroid's gonna hit Earth in 2023. Okay, an asteroid's gonna hit Earth. We don't know what size it is, but we know an asteroid's gonna hit Earth. Okay, let's have that straight. So, for example, an asteroid's gonna hit Earth. It's gonna hit Earth. People are gonna die. There is nothing you're gonna do about it. Coronavirus is going to happen. People are going to die. There is nothing you're going to do about it. We tried getting people in hospitals. Hospitals ended up overloaded. Some people, you know, they're expecting. They, you know, women are nine months bloody pregnant, whatever. Mother, or mothers, is what I'm saying, generalise it. Are uh, nine months pregnant. Oh, they are not able to find a hospital to give birth in. Oh, they can miscarry. The baby could die. Blah, blah, blah. They can have several complications, okay? And for the women that did bloody give birth in hospitals, guess what? They're being made to wear masks. Oh, oh, they're being oh, loss of oxygen to the poor baby. Yeah, they're gonna have this for these. Um, and another thing is, you know, hospitals overpacked. Uh, we're putting all our resources in to, you know, try and save these people. Oh, get them on breathalysers. Use up a load of electricity. Use up a load of Wi-Fi. Blah blah blah. Use up a load of food. You know. Use up a load of water to try and, you know, get all the stuff over. I'm trying to keep this person alive, keep this person alive, keep this person alive, blah, blah, blah. Put them on respirator, put them on respirator. It's like, mate, relax. Mother nature will not be stopped. 
If an asteroid is going to hit, it's going to hit, you're doing nothing about it. If a tsunami's going to happen, a tsunami's going to happen. You're going to do nothing about it. If a hurricane's going to happen, if a tornado's going to happen, if lightning's going to strike, there ain't nothing you're going to do to stop it. Mother Nature will always win. End of. Let the people die. Let Mother Nature do, do what it wants to do. This planet is overpopulated as it is. Let Mother Nature get on with what she wants to do. It will be better in the long run. Half the population will end up immune to it anyway. Then your vaccines are eventually going to be made, which is going to save a few more people in the long run. My nan and my granddad, okay, they got COVID before they'd even had the vaccine. Guess what? They're in their 50s. In fact, my nan's in her 60s. They were fine. They were apps. They were fine. But if my nan and my granddad got it, they were fine. They were in the 60s. They were fine. There is no excuse. If you've got health problems, you deserve to go down because you never sorted your diet out properly in the first place. You're not eating pomegranate because, oh, how could you eat pomegranate? How could you not eat pomegranate when if you don't, you're probably half as more as likely to die anyway? Eat your oranges. Eat your fruits. Eat your... Do you know what I mean? If you need supplements, take your supplements. All these drugs and medications like they're making for people who, I don't know... You can have anxiety, you have depression, blah, blah, blah. There's drugs for people who are on dementia, which make them hate their lives. So they're being taken off of that. Um, all this ibuprofen, all of this paracetamol, that's no good for you whatsoever. As much as it may help lower a headache, that drug is affecting you in the long run. There are things known as microtoxins and all these drugs for anxiety, headaches, blah, blah, blah. They're all the same thing. They're autotoxic, they cause problems. They build up in the body over time. Sometimes you can't get rid of it. This is why half the reason why and I'll say take your supplements and make sure you're eating your pomegranate and you're eating your oranges. These are kind of things that are good for your blood, yeah? If you're eating those, and I'm going off on a tangent, if you're eating those, right, you're less likely to die of something. If you're eating all of that, you're less likely to die of corona. Eat elderberries. Elderberries are supposed to be good for people who have got a cold, right? Corona is the same thing. Flu is the same thing. Just if you eat, if you eat, it doesn't matter how much you don't like elderberries, mate. I don't care if you don't like a food. You need to eat it because it's good for your health, okay? Just like children. Oh, I don't like broccoli. You force them to eat it, don't you? Because it's good for the health. Broccoli's amazing. You need to eat pomegranates. Even as an adult. You, As much as you hated eating something as a kid. You turn it in. You move into another house. You move into your own house. Oh, I've got my own life now. I don't need to eat pomegranate. You still do. Because if you don't, you're going to end up unhealthy. I'm telling you. Make sure your diet's right, you live longer. Make sure your diet's right, your immune system's going to be better. Oranges are proven to be good for the immune system. Grapes, pomegranate, elderberries, mate. I'm telling you. If everyone had good diets, less people would die of COVID anyway. Less restrictions would have to be put in place because of it. But like I said, it all dies down to one thing. Mother nature always wins. People are going to die of COVID no matter what. You can't stop it. You may be able to lower it. By about 10%. It's not going to make much of a difference. People still died despite the efforts that we went to. We may as well have not done it. Good Mother Nature wins. Remember that. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for listening. I hope at least one out of 200 people odds watching my video actually made it to the end of this video. Because the majority of you don't and it's really annoying. No one watches my live streams. Be sure to put on your push notifications when you subscribe to my channel. Uh, the most people who subscribe to my channel forget that. This is why I get no views, okay? Thank you for listening to my lecture. Or I hope you did listen to my lecture. You better have. Uh, I'm going to end this video here. Remember, Mother Nature always wins.